business end of the program and we are returning to squats. Now Fanini, he has progressed really well and he's got basically over his disc problem. Remember he's still got a disc bulge but he doesn't have the symptoms anymore because he's had time, he's got his flexibility better, he's got his strengthening better and it's, starting, it's time now to start returning to strengthening work for his general fitness and his general strength, but also to strengthen the spine. So we need to be do, getting him doing squats to strengthen the spine. Uh, we've just got to go through that carefully and make sure he's doing his form correctly, make sure he's doing the weight correctly and he understands how to progress that weight. So when you return to squats, the biggest thing is form and the second thing is weight. So let's look at his form. So when he does a squat, and if you go feet wide, he's got to make sure his feet are a little bit wider than his hips. So we don't want him a little bit wider, which just helps him with his hip control, his hip sort of alignment is um, making sure that he doesn't round his spine when he runs out of hip range. But also he needs to make sure he maintains a neutral spine. So when he starts, he's going to be like that, and he's going to have his knees sort of out a little bit. Okay, so that sort of almost raises his arches a little bit, so he's in neutral with his feet. Um, and he's going to start up in here, because that's where he's going to be holding the kettlebells, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and it's always good to start with kettlebells, because it's a lighter weight, okay, it's more difficult with a bar on your back. And we really want to start progressing weight slowly, so kettlebells get heavier and heavier and heavier. And then when they get to the point where you can't hold them in your hands, then you go to a bar. Um, Let's go this way. So for Nini, when he squats, he's got to make sure that he starts in a neutral spine and he finishes in a neutral spine. So he can't really go, if you keep going lower for me, there. Okay, come back up again. Can you hold that for a minute? Yep. Okay. There's his neutral spine. Little bit of a curve, that's what we want. Okay, not excessive curve. I don't want him really sticking his bum out. But if he goes lower, you watch what happens here. This part actually flexes, keep going. There, it flexes there. Now, come back up, and then it extends. Do you see that? So go down again. Flexing there, and extend, and then he comes up. I don't want that happening. So he has not got the control here, or maybe the hip range, come up again, to go lower than that because his spine just defaults into flexion. Now that's really bad for a disc with load on it. When he squats down and picks up something off the floor, just squat down, grab something, he can do that. There's no load, it's his body weight. But if he's doing repetitions of weight, okay, come up again, that he's trying to do to strengthen the spine, he needs to be able to maintain neutral and so he cannot go lower than that point and he needs to learn where that point is and feel where that point is and that's why it's quite handy having someone look at it and go, okay, you can't go lower than this point. Otherwise, he's more likely to get a disc bulge or re-bulge and ruin his life again, okay? So let's grab the weights. So that's a really important thing. Form is really important. Now when you've got kettlebells, flip them on the outside. There we go. That way. <laughs> there we go. Now, that's two fours. That's eight. Probably a good place to start. Eight kilos. It's not bad for him. Everyone's a little bit different. But he does not want to increase that too much. Now, the load limit for him in his life, my rule is his body weight. So, how heavy are you? Uh, about 70. 70 kilos. He's, my rule is because he's had a disc bulge, and anyone with a disc bulge or herniation, I would just put a ceiling limit of you cannot more do more than 70 kilos if you are 70 kilos. It doesn't mean let's go and do 70 kilos. I'd probably think that half that is his maximum because he doesn't want to be compressing his spine. So if you're starting with eight, you're going to spend about 12 weeks to try and get up to maybe half that. It's a long time, but you've got to have time for that disc to accept load and you're trialing and erring every week to see whether that load is appropriate for you and not shoot up to 70 kilos too quick because it's just going to re-bulge you. No matter how strong you are and how much good form you've got and coordination you've got, you put load on it, it's going to have problems again. So, Lenny, let's go into that squat again. So let's have a look. Down into the squat, he needs to go to boot there and then come back up. So he's basically 
above 90 degrees. Now this is basically squashing that myth that you can squat deep when you've got a disc bulge because if you go lower and try and go deeper and you don't have the control here and you can't maintain neutral spine, you can't do it. Come back up again. And you can work on hip mobility, you can work on strength, you can work on that core stuff to see if you can get lower and lower and lower and that is fine to go deep if you can maintain that beautiful neutral curve there. Come back up again. And you can see the other form things. He's got his back angle the same as his shin, shin angle. He's doing really well there. His knees are tracking forward well. His knees are tracking correctly. His feet are doing right. He's doing great with that. All right? And he, he's coming up and he's sequencing together well. Come down again. But that's one of the most important things I would really be focusing on is if you can maintain that and keep that neutral, keep that honest and do not break or butt wink or go below, then you can squat with load and strengthen the spine, get your fitness back in your legs, get your strength up, but remember with everyone who's disbulged you're going to struggle if you try and go really, really heavy or try and you know, get massive gains in your legs through squatting when you've got a back problem. Remember this is designed to get your spinal strength up so you can exercise, squat, you can lift, you can do things in your life without re-injuring your back and maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Come down again. Nice and slow at the bottom, yep, and come back up. Great form. Okay.